Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. It is a hearty half six in the morning and it is time to take a jaunt out to Bleak Falls Barrow. So off we go. Woo! Birdies. Off we go post haste to the barrow. Um, not entirely sure where I should be going. That is talk to the Isle of Wight run. Okay. Let me figure out. Okay. The Golden Claw retrieve. The Golden Claw, how do we, um... Alright, hey. Just trying to work this out for a second. Oh. Enter. Okay. There we go, then. Excellent. That's now showing me to Bleak Falls Barrow. So I should be able to make my way there without too much incident. That here is a blue butterfly whose wings I have just wrenched from its poor body. I didn't mean to do that, I thought it was a flower, but never mind, it will be useful for alchemical reasons anyway. So, let us continue our jaunt up the snowy- oh dear god! Whoa now! Fuck you! I don't like dogs. For obvious reasons. So. Off we go. That's uh, Pix and Pooks, the character who does not like dogs, not me. I think dogs are okay. Uh, so, we shall continue to jaunt up this here snowy mountainside in search of adventure. I have cranked the game difficulty up to expert, which is one above adept, which is where it starts, and one below master, which is the absolute top. So I'm, I'm penultimate in it, guys second to hardest, that's how I roll. None of this first hardest or normal nonsense, I'm just an ever so slight cut above the rest, but nothing spectacular. That is how I rate myself, and so that is how I have tweaked my game to be. Yeah? That's a nice poem. I think you should die for it. Or are we good friends? Are we friends or not? No, we're not! Ow! How dare you! Ah. LOLS! Off he went. A steel mace, I do believe that's better than the axe I'm currently having for myself. So in fact, let's equip that now. Whoa, an arrow whizzed by my head. Where are the baddies? Where are the baddies? I'm so Oh, there they are. Yeah. Right in the face. And now cook. Cook, you woman. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, ooh. Yeah, ooh. It's a bit heavy. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, just try and hit me. Just try and hit me. No. You. Your magic is low. I know. We've already established this. In the spider cave. Okay. So I have some of that, some of that. Ooh, one of that. Uh, and uh, that'll do. That'll do it. Thank you. I have set your house on fire. I hope that's not too much of an issue for you. Um, magic. Restoration. I don't want to just wait for my health to come back naturally. I want to restorificate it such that I may... Improve my restoration skill as we go. I think that would be most useful. So we've found here a nice little tower. Murdered its um, residents with no... No real moral struggle. I just sort of went for it. They're only bandits. No one will miss them. They have no families, I presume. Maybe they do. Maybe they've turned to a life of banditry just to support the wife and kids at home. But even so... I care not, for I am Pigs and Pooks. And all I care for is moon sugar. So. Oh, yes. Potion of the Warrior. Hmm. That's rather good for me, given that I. I don't want to be full on mage. I want to also have a weapon in hand. I want to be like weapon in one hand, magic in the other. 
reason being because while I do like magic very much, there's nothing better than just occasionally giving someone a buff on the bonds, wouldn't you say? So that, that sort of mammoth skull symbol in my map implies that there is a mammoth nearby. So I'm going to quick save it just in case I run into swift mammothy death. But I don't believe I should because here is the path to Bleak Falls Barrow. And bloody hell, it's snowing. I'm only wearing light robes. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I am freezing. Look at me freeze. They call me Cold Face McWhiskerpus. Careful not to slip on the stairs. They are very snowy. And careful not to slip on the baddies' corpses once we kill them. Come at me, bro. Yes. Finally killed someone with the weapon I had in my hand. That is bad ass. Now where are you? Ha! You can't hit me. But I ow! Fuck off! Yeah! Toasted and roasted. An iron arrows for me and an auricalum ingot. And ooh yeah, go on then. Ooh, a hunting bow, I think that's a better bow than the one I've got. So we'll have that. Now there is still someone nearby. Is this a battle of wits that will take place? Is it? Or are you just behind this pillar? Oh, you won the battle of wits. Well done. I was expecting to sneak up behind you like a boss, but no. You had to go and shoot me in the face. I commend you for that. That was pretty impressive. Good face shooting ability. I admire it. Now, is there anything else? Oh, this music is very oblivion. Which I suspect the Oblivion music is probably very Morrowind, but still, this is very Oblivion music. I like it. Um, restoration. I know there are there are ways to um, hotkey different spells so you can equip them on the fly, but I, I I don't know how to do that yet. I'll I'll research that in my own time while currently wasting yours with constant constant changes. And so here we are, Bleak Falls temple, also known as Bleak Falls Barrow. I don't know why they've thrown that temple in there all of a sudden, just to throw us off guard. But here we go. It's loading, but we don't get any statue to play around with or any writing to read. I don't know if that's, like, because we just don't hear, or because the fact that I'm recording with Fraps is causing Skyrim to slow slowificate. So, um, I'm gonna be sneaking around. Oh, there are baddies there. Be careful of those baddies. Though I don't like um, stealth in this game, by which I mean the proper stealth attack, sneaking behind someone, slitting their throat, throwing arrows when they can't see you. I just think the damage multipliers are actually rather overpowered. Well, lots about this game is overpowered, but I'm going to try and avoid too much of the overpoweredness. I want it to stay a reasonable challenge all the way through. I don't want no 100% chameleon suit, oblivion players. You know what I'm talking about. I want to keep it real. Like... Oh, hey. It's... Oh, I'm sorry. Whee! Fuck you. How dare you dodge my amazing attack. I'll just take your stuff while the other woman's not looking. Alright, other woman, where'd you go? I'm ready for you. Ha! Your archery leaves much to be desired. Is this really the second to hardest difficulty? I'm plowing through you noobs. Like toast plows through salmon. So, I won't bother to um, restore that little bit of health. I think that will just go a ways to pissing my viewers off. So, uh, alright. Let's get back into sneaky mode. Search them skeevers. Oh, it's time to do some unlockery. Whoa. There we go. And I got some skill and 67 gold for my efforts. Most beautiful. Quick save. Hopefully that won't piss the viewers off with the lag that it causes via fraps. These webs are old and weak, and I young and strong. They should be no match for me. Burial urn. Well, you know what they say about grave robbing. Go for it. So. Yeah. 
Yes, an empty urn. The fuck? You are clearly not loved in life. Oh dear. Ha. <laughs> That's just, um... Just bog standard normal noise. All this heavy wind is putting me in an amnesia mood. And <laughs> boy. No. We don't like that game. So let's keep on sneaking. Hope you don't mind my sneaking ways. Making passage through these tunnels slow, but hey, it's cinematic, right? We like a good sneak every now and then. Linen. Potion of Magicka? Uh, looks like that's it. Stupid shelf and it's only mildly good loots. Right. Whoops. Ah, I see someone. I will sneak up on him with great justice. <laughs> that was happening for like two seconds before he died. Great reaction times, fella. You could have moved. Okay, so I'll take that and that because it's weightless. This, um, that'll do. Let's not go crazy now. So, we have a puzzle here. We have to arrange these figurines while my eyeball itches into a shape that will allow the door to open. So we have a snake here, a snake there, and a dolphin thingy there. So, I think it's clear what we need to do. And by it's clear what we need to do, I mean I've done this before and therefore know what to do. Come on, little dolphin creature. Don't disappoint me. Good like not being disappointed. Ooh, what's this? A lesser soul gem. My kind of gem. Potion of Mwenir Magikar. Read Thief. Excellent. By Revan. I wonder if that's the Kotor character. Not. And I have leveled up, so we'll get right onto that soon. So, turn pages time. take that because it was a pretty valuable book. And I'll take this Pushion. And, uh, oh, let's level up. Oops. Okay, when your level increases, you must choose to increase health, magic, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time. I'll save it for later. Available perks are highlighted in each constellation. So, I think it's pretty clear what we want. Magicka, because I, my health hasn't dropped yet, so there's no particular need to. Yeah. So cast novice level destructions for half magicka. That's tempting, but then how quickly will I grow out of novice? Oops. Right. Well, I'm going to pick my perk in a minute. I'm just going to stop recording for a second and do something. I will see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for allowing me that small time to be away. Even though it was instantaneous for you, I still appreciate the fact that you waited. So let's re-go. I'm not completely sold on that destruction um, thing with Bobbidi Boo, so we'll have a look. Novice, yeah, see, I'm, I'm just... I'm not sure... Because I won't be using novice things for the whole time, I assume, anyway. I'll be using things like that, so... I don't know. Oop, damn it! And if it turns out you have to get the previous one to get the next one, then sure. But until I have a way to find that out... Okay, so it looks like all the magic ones are going to be, damn it, <laughs> um, around this sort of thing. It's enchanting. Let's see what's enchanting. New enchantments are 20% stronger. That's quite cool. Uh, how do I get out of here without... There we go. Awesome. So what am I... Oh, what am I currently using? One-handed, I'm quite into, so... One-handed weapons do 20% more damage. Sounds good to me, wouldn't you say? So that'll be our first... First little thing. 
one-handed archery, and then we'll look at the other things. Probably turn out that I'm building the worst character possible, but hey. It is my right to be as newbie as I wish. So let's go down the helix staircase. It's not a spiral staircase, it's a helix staircase. And the way you can tell is that spirals either get narrower or wider as they go down, whereas helixes stay straight, and that is a skeever. Fuck off. Alright, stop sneaking, Pix and Poops. Time has passed. Alright, good. Well, I say good, I was pretty much mauled by them, so. Restoration, healing. Whee! Uh, is there a way to quickly access my magic? It won't be um, M, will it? Anyway, destruction, flames. Let's see what G does. No, it's not G. Okay. So, anyway. Skeever tail. Um, Oi. Oh, I thought you were two skeevers, but it turns out you were just one skeever. There's the other one. Hello. Thank you for the gift of your body part. Um, oh, this place is pretty cobwebby. Someone should clean it. Squirrel a fireball, very lovely. Weak paralysis poison, almost as lovely. Um, Someone coming. Is that you, Hartnir? Bjorn, Solik. Yep. I'm all of those people. Right, so quick save because it's patently obvious what's coming. Why do I swing my sword so my mace so slowly? Oh my! It's wounded. It doesn't look wounded. Ow! Right. This is going to require all of my skill. So we'll poison my mace. Good. Your health is low. Is it? Well then, I should probably... Uh, potion of uh, healing. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, I am pimping myself out for this. All right, now burn, you bitch, burn. Yes. It didn't seem to really hurt me at the end there. That's quite cool. Yeah, yeah, in a second. I've got things to loot. Get me down. Get me down. Shut up. I'm not leaving you for RK's sake. I'm just looting. You're not even listening to me, are you? I don't see why... I don't see why I have to talk to you if you're not going to listen to the things I'm saying. Okay? Get me out of here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. You, over here! Just give me a second. We've been through this. Ooh, a lockpick. All right. Hello there. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Uh, where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hmm. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Oh, okay. I'll burn you down. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Good. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Oh no, you don't, son. Yes! <laughs> that was fantastic. Okay. I'll 
I'll take your claw, your journal, that, not that. I'm very impressed with my assassination of him there. Swing, wow, his sword counts as part of his character, but swinging that mace, getting him in the back, flinging him across the room, it was just a thing of beauty. Not many mages can do that, let me assure you. Embalming tool. Anyway. Guild and silver ring. Let us read that journal. Books, books, books. We all good at book and book. Alright. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favourite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get the Hall of Story, get to the Hall of Stories, and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Oh gosh, uh, magic? No, sorry, items. Uh. Uh, items. Just realised I have not learnt the spell I bought. There we go. So I'll remember to stick that on in future. Alright, let's get back into sneaky, sneaky mode. Because it's all starting to look a wee bit ominous here. Oh gosh, Draugr! Draugr waking up! I do not fear you, for I have... Oh, flash! Gosh, that's an expensive spell, isn't it? Items, weapons. Uh, where's my mace? Thank you. Uh. Yeah. Burn! Burn in righteous fire! You fiends! Oh my gosh. Right. Woo! Okay. Uh, uh. No! No. Okay. That was sad. I guess that's what I get for turning up the difficulty. But you will not best me. You've detected me, have you? Well, you should be very, very proud of yourselves. I don't know if undeads are infected are affected by poison, so I'm not gonna try. Come on! Uh, that's more like it! Okay, now we're nearly dying again, but at least, uh, at least we're not as nearly dying as we used to be. Fuck, although now I am. <laughs> uh, potions, 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 healing, healing. Come on. Well, fuck, I fucked that up, didn't I? No! Ah. Oh, was that close. The answer to that question is yes. Yes, that was close. So, magic. Restoration. Oh, come on. More health, please. Oops, I didn't mean to take that great sword. Right. Sorry, I'm sure I'll learn faster ways to go through all my weapons and everything, but just not yet. Bone meal, gold, and an ancient Nordic sword that I don't want. Or do I? No. Uh, gold, bone meal, yes. And quick saving it, because good heavens, that was quite a battle. 
these Draugr, let me tell you. They are nasty, nasty creatures. I'm not sure if they're just bog standard zombies or if there's anything special about them. I'm sure we'll find a book about them somewhere. Let's loot everything they have while I can. They do seem to be a bit more preserved than zombies, don't they? Zombies are just sort of blokes that walk around, or at least they were in oblivion, they walk around to do their own. <laughs> oh, that was uh, so close to a face mashing, I can't even fathom. Alright. Let's get Oak Flesh on the go. Lovely. So, magic, destruction. All right, someone's here with me, but who? I'm detected, but... Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm, I'm quite jittery, actually. An iron helmet, yep. Guild. Something can detect me. <laughs> it's probably that guy. Restless Draugr. Oh, no. You know what? We're gonna stall. No, actually, I'll wait till I'm hurt. Fuck, I can't now. I was gonna wait till I was hurt and then level up, because that gets your health back, but alas, I wasn't clever enough to think of that, was I? So, um... Let's have a look at what I've got here. Uh, let's look back at the destruction thing. Oh, see if it goes anywhere. So we've got novice destruction. Uh, then augmented shock. Ooh, augmented flames. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit sort of busy. Okay. Uh, rar. Alteration. Yeah, I, I could have guessed that was about to happen. Right, let's go back to. Um, Archery, I'll get one-handed and um, archery both, both with the damage. All right, back we go. Ah, hey, fuck you. That's cheating with your magics. All right. Just, nope. Sorry. Yeah. Do I have any powers? Yes, I do. But don't care about them right now. Oh fuck! All right, shit. Magic, uh, destruction, flames. <laughs> yes! My plan worked. I am such a genius. Oh, bow down to my geniusity. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now I suspect that 50% of this video is me constantly re-equipping my weapons, so I'm going to try and figure out a way to um, circumvent all of that. I'll peruse the instruction manual later for all of the um, shortcuts. But first, we must complete Bleak Falls Barrow. Because I- oh! Oh gosh. More of you bastards. Right. I'm gonna run back into my safe room. I say safe because it's just nice and big. In fact, now we're gonna test out my bonus. Uh, ah. This is actually working quite well. Except now. Alright. <laughs> Items, weapons, uh, steel mace, yeah, magic, destruction. Oh, it's already there. Good. 
good. That's one Draugr dead. I wish I knew that's not the magic key. Okay. But there is a way to access magic.